there goes the L. I'm at Womrath Park. It's at uh, Kensington. It's where Kensington and Frankfurt meet, right here. Bam. Uh, Womrath Park. Now, when I was a kid, we called this park Hooker Park. And uh, look at this. There used to be a historical marker here. Not a historical marker, but something that said something of historical significance happened in this park. Now, uh, I made a video here about a week, week and a half ago. And this, one way, it's not, this video is not even about this park. It's not even about this park. But it's... From what I, there, there, there's really not much online. There's not much uh, anywhere uh, about what happened in this park. Maybe two or three news stories, and that's it. And uh, the city has all of these markers for the uh, new, yeah, whatever it's called, garden to soak up the the overflow of rain. They spent thirty million dollars on on. Uh, working on the flooding situation because the creek's right here uh oh we got uh, so we don't have a historical marker but we do have these paintings let's see what they say hold on they cross kenston ave and you see that right there that's the uh Declaration of Independence. Look, there's, I guess that's Thomas Jefferson and John Adams sitting at a park. What park would that be? Well, it'll be that park right there, Hooker Park. Uh, it turns out, all right, the Declaration of Independence was signed on July 2nd by the Founding Fathers in Independence Hall. Not all of them. Some of them signed it up until like November of that year. But some of them signed it July 2nd. <clears throat> the reason why uh, we know July 4th is the day of the signing is because that's the day it was printed and that's the date of the printing and uh, so anyway July 4th Independence Hall Thomas Jefferson wasn't an Independence Hall it's 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 from what I hear now look if I'm wrong don't kill me this is just what I'm saying I'm just trying to preserve a little history of our city it said that Thomas Jefferson on July 4th eight his like dinner like a celebratory dinner here at Womrath Park or Hooker Park but even more historical significance than anything right on across the street from this park is one of the oldest buildings in the United States it's 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 one of the top it's one of the 100 oldest buildings in our country it's it's the room where thomas jefferson read the declaration of independence before it was read publicly by john nixon it was read by thomas jefferson in this building and i want to show you what state this building is in if you look see that's just a regular row of home there's some more but right there that 1548 house This house is called the Worrell Winter House. It's one of the oldest houses in the United States. Uh, it was built in the early 1700s. There are houses older. Uh, there's houses in Alfred's Alley, not as old as this house. And this house was built by riverbed rocks at, from the Frankfurt Creek, which is only, or Creek, I'm sorry. And uh, that's only, uh, 50 yards behind here so they took the things they built this so this is one of the oldest houses in america uh it tells you right here uh, it was named after john well and george winter who ran a local swedish grist mill the oldest known si surviving residents in northeast philadelphia comparable to the age of alfred's alley an old city dating from 1718 to 1728 the signers of the declaration of independence dined just steps away from this home at, at, at hooker park warmer park uh July 4th, 1776. So, it's said that Thomas Jefferson himself ate, was in here, he read the Declaration of Independence, and this is the state it's in. Uh, 
One, why is there no historical marker at, at, at the park? I don't know. We got we got historical markers for the guy who uh, owned the Phillies right next to Boyd's. Uh, Boyd's clothing store. There's a thing that guy who opened a sporting goods store who owned the Phillies. That has a historical marker. The fact that Thomas Jefferson read the Declaration of Independence in that building July 4th and it doesn't have a historical marker? I don't know. Maybe the facts I have are wrong. But it, 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 if it's slightly true, yo, we got we got to work on that. We got to fix that. Now, I did meet the owner of that property and it, he doesn't really know what to do with the property. Um, he uh, wants to get in contact with some historical society people. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who to get, get him in contact with. So, we need help. What can we do? I'm going to put a, a, a link to my Facebook page. If you have any information on how we can help preserve that, I, for, for it to be one of the 100 oldest buildings in America and to look like that, that's not nice. Eh, uh, and, and, and there's really no articles on it. But so that that's it. Uh, so my Facebook thing's going to be in there. If you have any info, if you have anything that can help, please email me. Let me know. Uh, I got the owner's pro owner of the property's uh, card. I can email him at any time. And he told me once it gets restored, I will get first looksies at that property if I can help him. Okay, well, I'm going to help you, Eric. We're going to make this happen. All right, so. Thomas Jefferson dined there. He read it there. Uh, we got to do something. We got to preserve the history. All right. You want to see some more historical stuff? Look at that. You want to subscribe to my channel? Hit that. Uh, Alfred's Alley Museum? There you go. Totals.